Hey guys, it's Zach from the ConCon channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock and craft the mythical golden long stuff, which is this stuff right over here. Now there are quite a few steps that you need to do in order to actually craft the mythical golden long stuff. Now you're going to need four legendary materials being the Thundertail, Thunderbone, Mountain Shaking Claw and the Sea Supporting Tendon as well as Kunsteel and refined iron sands. The Thundertail, Thunderbone, Mountain Shaking Claw and Sea Supporting Tendon all come from the four long dragons that you need to defeat. Now in order to actually unlock those four long dragons you need the long scales so I'm going to show you how to get the long scales. Now you need to get to the second chapter where you come across the second rat prince and the king of flowing sands. Now this is going to be a boss fight with two bosses and two different results depending on who you defeat first. If you defeat the king, which is the small one, the sun will become enraged and you'll have to defeat the sun. But after the battle, you'll then get a pungent flesh chunk, which you need in order to summon the first rat prince. If you defeat the sun first, which is the bigger one, you'll then let the father, which is the king, escape and he'll go and summon the first rat prince for himself. Now, all you need to do is come to where the shrine is and you're going to head towards the left, which is going to take you into this cave. And you just need to follow along the path to get to the first rat prince. Once the first rat prince has been summoned, you need him to smash against this wall right over here. Now you'll see that he's going to charge and once he smashes it, you should see a bunch of shards from the wall break off. Now if you can't smash into the wall, you can't get him to smash into the wall and break it, then you can always equip the spirit of the wandering white in order to use it and you can break the wall yourself. But once the walls open you can then go in and once you're on the other side you should be in this massive room with a painting on the wall at the back and the chest at the back of the room as well and once you open the chest you should then get the long scales which is now required for the long dragons and now we need to head back to the area in chapter one so in order to head back what you're going to do is go to your shrine you're going to say travel you're going to go to black wind mountain first of the wolves and then you're going to spawn at the outside of the forest shrine now just follow where i go and you should make it there Once you make it to the waterfall, you're then going to examine it and you're going to use the loom scales in order to open up the waterfall and reveal a new path. Now you just need to enter into this crevice and once you enter in, you'll then come out the other side into this completely new area where you'll then fight this thunder dragon. Once you defeat the dragon, a new chest will spawn at the back of the arena and you'll be able to go ahead and open it. Now as a reward you should get the long pearl material and once you open the chest you should get the thunder tail material which is what we need now in order to unlock the long wreath staff. Now if you go to a shrine and go to craft a weapon you should see the long wreath staff and it's saying we're missing an item which is going to be the thunderbone which we'll get from the second long dragon and I'm going to show you how to get that right now. Now once you have defeated the thunder dragon you now need to head back to chapter 2 and you need to get to the Rockrest Flat Shrine. Once you're here, you can then follow along my path. And once you get to the very top, you should see the sand wall over here and now you'll be able to open it with the loom scales that you collected from the chapter 2 area where the first rat prince broke the wall. Now once you have broken through the sand wall you can then open up these doors and you'll enter into this new area that is going to be filled with lots of sand and it's going to be like a desert kind of area and now you're going to fight black loom which is this dragon that has these thunder maces and now you'll need to fight them now after defeating black loom you should get another long pole material as well as the thunderbone material that is needed to craft the long wreath staff but now you may be wondering how do you get the refined sand to craft these stuff. All you need to do is defeat bosses or open up certain chests that you can find just by exploring. Once you go back to your shrine you should now be able to go see the long wreath stuff and you can now craft it as long as you have all the materials. 
Now, after being able to craft this staff, you'll now be able to actually unlock the mythical golden long staff. And now I'm going to show you the steps for that. Now, after defeating Black Long, you then need to travel to the New West Shrine at the Bitter Lake Turtle Island in Chapter 3. Once you're here, you can then just follow along my path. And once you get to the bottom, you should see this dragon statue sitting on the edge of the cliff. And once you get close enough, a cutscene should start and you'll now be versing the Scion Long Dragon. Once you defeat the Scion Long Dragon, you should get a little cutscene. And don't forget to collect the chest as it will give you the Mountain Shaking Claw, which is a material needed to craft the Golden Long Star. Once you have defeated the Scion Long Dragon, you then need to progress to Chapter 4 at the Webbed Hollow Cliff of Oblivion Shrine. And once you're here, you can just follow my path. Once you get to this point, you should see a shrine and you can go ahead and collect it. Once that's collected, you can then progress forward and you should see the fourth long dragon on the edge of the cliff under this canopy. And once you get close enough, a cutscene should start and you'll now have to verse the fourth and final dragon being yellow long. Once you defeat yellow long, you'll then get another cutscene. And once you defeat Yellow Long, you should get the C supporting tender material, which is used to craft the Golden Long Staff. And you'll get Kun Steel, which will be one out of the two Kun Steels that you'll need to craft the staff as well. Now, the final material that we'll need to craft the Golden Long Staff is one more Kun Steel. Now, in order to get this Kun Steel, you want to come to the secret area called the Purple Cloud Mountain in Chapter 4. And I'll have a video to that down in the description below on how to get the secret area. But once you're here, you're going to go to the Cloudness Peak Shrine and you're going to travel up these stairs because now you're going to verse the Dusk Veil boss. And once you defeat the Dusk Veil boss, you then will get the Kun Steel that is needed to craft the mythical Golden Longstaff. Now that you have all the materials, you can then go to your nearest shrine or you can go back to the hub area and go to the Blacksmith. And now you can craft the Golden Longstaff. If it says that it requires a prerequisite, you need to buy the long wreath staff before you can buy the golden long staff as it is part of its tree. But once you've bought the long wreath staff, you can then craft the golden long staff. And now you should have yourself a really OP staff. It's been Zai from the Concon channel. I hope this video helped you out and thanks for watching.